So I got a new job, somewhere new, something different, something exciting. But before I reveal where I'm going and what it is that I'm doing, we need to throw back to about four or five weeks ago when this whole process of finding a new job started. And this will explain how I got to the point that I'm at now. So here's what's happened in the last two weeks. I came home, I've been relaxing as you are, I'd consider myself kind of relaxed and out of the headspace that um, I was in coming away from Meyerhofen. Uh, before the weekend, I found myself sat in front of my computer firing off my CV to a variety of companies, all mainly in the travel sector. And I had an interview today with an interesting company based in Barcelona. I have potentially a phone call with someone based in Brussels and then potentially maybe an interview later on in the week with a company based down south of the UK. Trying to picture myself working in Barcelona and as someone who likes the mountains and being active and playing rugby and cricket regularly, or is that for me, working in Barcelona? I don't know. So yesterday I had two more phone calls regarding jobs. Maybe they're going to lead to interviews. Who knows? We'll see how it goes. I should also mention how badly I am sleeping at the moment. Just reading some of Gary V's books from time to time on trains and various journeys to see if that can give me any inspiration applying for more jobs just been applying for japan so we're now into august uh it's wednesday the 7th and just a bit of an update uh, i've got some interviews lined up some more interviews uh face-to-face -face interviews though not over the phone so i'm traveling down to oxford uh tomorrow night for an interview on friday and then next week i've got to fly to belgium um i'll talk a little bit more about that one soon but that's exciting Excuse the noise, but I'm in Brussels and I've just come out of an interview which I thought was only going to take like an hour. It's been about four, but I'll explain why when I check into my hotel. So last week I went down to Oxford for an interview uh, in the luxury ski industry. And uh, today I've been in Brussels having an interview in the business aviation industry. It's been two opportunities for me to get in front of some people and try and showcase my employability and my skills and my personality, which uh, I hope I've done a pretty good job at doing. Um, I've also got an interview uh, on Thursday, so I go back tomorrow, early morning. Uh, and the interview on Thursday is for a job based in Japan. I'm busy, I'm like, I've been putting my CV out there as I mentioned, and I've had some interviews now, which is a bit of a positive. Um, it's now just a bit of waiting to see what these companies say back, um, and then just send off another batch of CVs if nothing comes to it. I'm going downstairs now, I'm getting a taxi. I'm just really hoping that the taxi was booked. a big shout out to the guy that was working the gate at Brussels. He completely like, wiped the fee. My small bag, which was perfect for hand luggage, he kindly decided to do it when his uh, uh, supervisor wasn't there. So uh, props to you, mate. You saved me some money and made my early airport experience nice and smooth and easy. So thank you. 
All right, home time. Petrol, coffee. Oh, how the hell can just 24 hours of parking cost 90 quid? Tuesday the 20th so last week was Brussels um, and then on that Thursday of, of last week uh, I had the Skype interview with Job Based in Japan which went quite well um, I'm expecting to hear back from that one and the Job Based down south in Oxford by the end of this week Thursday and I'm back in my suit again off to another interview this is the closest one this is like less than two miles away from my house um, in a customer services role so I'm um, gonna see how this one goes this one's just come up in the last few days so fingers crossed so on Friday the 23rd of August I received a job offer this was the first offer I've had when an opportunity like this comes along I couldn't say no and I'm delighted to say that for winter 2019 2020 I'm going to be heading to the ski resort of Niseko in Japan I'm going to be going over there and working as a concierge now this is not working as a rep but it's still working within guest services and it's uh, there'll be new things there'll be some similar things along the way but I'm working for a company that specializes in property management and property rental but I've got to be out there no later than the 18th of November so the next thing I need to do soon is work out my flight I've got to can only book a one-way flight uh, because there's no way uh, I'm gonna know exactly the day that I'll be flying home but cannot wait I uh, hope you guys are just as excited as I am and uh, hit that like button, hit the subscribe because it's going to be an incredibly new journey uh, for me. <laughs>